The saying, once it's on the internet, it's there forever, is far too true for one of City University's students' union election candidates. Hassan Niazi, a postgraduate student in international human rights law, tweeted in February describing a male Pakistani cricket player as a faggot during his campaign. City's new independent media team, The Square, discovered the tweet and broke the story. This one feature created a surge of news coverage from the Evening Standard to The Guardian, then on to an international level with Pakistan's Newsweek publishing a feature. Just like that, Hassan's entire life was under a microscope, bringing his uncle into the picture, Pakistani politician and cricket player Imran Khan. Hassan claims this was a tactful smear campaign carried out by The Square, and he's the victim. First of all, if they have done a smear campaign, um, they were using university's premises, they were un using university's wall, they were using the name of the university, and according to the union, in the response to the, my complaint I sent to them, they said it, it falls under the university's jurisdiction, and I believe um, if university can't do anything with them, then I think the university's future rep rep reputation is at stake. Because obviously any student will stand up any day, start a smear campaign against anyone. But the university can't do anything about it. According to one university press officer, the square is an independent media publication and not under the university's jurisdiction. The square's editor, Scott Campbell, claims they were doing their jobs as journalists covering the truth. Um, I think that we reported uh, the facts. Uh, we reported exactly what he tweeted and when he responded we reported his exact response um, and therefore I don't think it's defamatory because it's true. Uh, there's evidence of everything that we have reported uh, so it, I mean it's, it's definitely not defamatory and it certainly wasn't malicious. With the elections over and the newly elected Students Union President Rima Amin declared the winner, negativity has swept the campus. I feel like even on campus now I feel there's a very negative atmosphere that I haven't felt in the past, um, my, my, my past <laughs> four years being here. I mean, for the past year since I've been VP activities, like I've always walked on campus and um, seen people smiling at me and stuff like that because of the work that I've done. Now it's all very negative and I think a lot of things need clarifying. While Hassan alleges the election process was unfair, the Students' Union released a statement that says, the process was both free and fair the returning officer received one complaint following the election, which was not upheld. But for Hassan, more needs to be done. But the question is, what I'm expecting from the university and the union is, just deal with the smear campaign against me and whatever the conclusion or the judgment they do, I'll accept it. Yes, the students who have done this, Within university's laws, they should be prosecuted. I don't want this, them to go to the court and, you know, the court settling out the issues. I don't want that to happen. In breaking news yesterday, however, British human rights campaigner Peter Thatchell urges the university to hold a re-election, claiming that he has sympathy with Hassan's complaints over the alleged election procedures, which strikes him as irregular and unfair. For now, those who are involved are waiting to see what happens next. Will a suit be carried out, or will it be brushed under the rug? As the saying goes, time will tell. This has been Catherine I. Oreo, reporting from London.